hey what's up youtube photographer ronix for most photography and on instagram at ronix photography and at ronix mutegeki so ronix is r o w n i x then photography and ronix mutegeki uh on on instagram so uh the two accounts are linked to each other so if at all you land on my first account you can as well follow my second account and in this tutorial today i'm going to be showing you guys how to save your images for instagram so that you don't have a shift in the colors so by shifting color i mean a situation whereby your images tend to change color when you post them on different websites or different social media platforms for example instagram so you may be having your image like this for instance and when you tend to uh, post it on other social media handles or platforms uh, they do change color and this tutorial is for you guys and how you can save your images so that they don't have that problem when you're trying to post them on different social media platforms and before i can do that i want to show you guys a brief overview of the retouching of this very image and let me first show you guys i tell you guys the settings i use for this very image basically this was a, a one light setup as you can see and it was an indoor shoot in a hotel restaurant so i used the godox ad 600 bm and i used a waistcoat highlighter right beneath as a model and i shot this image at f5 using a canon 6d camera and an 85 millimeter lens and i shot it at f5 so i wanted to get uh, enough detail uh, for the model skin as possible so you can see uh, it is really really a detailed image so basically that is how i shot the image so i'll show you guys a brief overview for uh, the retouching basically of this very image so i'm going to come right above here and i'm going to turn this off so i want to take you guys through uh, an overview and i'll be linking uh the real tutorials to whatever topic i try to handle or tackle in this very very overview so first of all i did frequency separation and i used a mixer brush tool and a lasso tool in order to blend the unevenness in the skin tones you can see this is the before and the after before after you can see the difference right here so i think i did a good job and i used the mixer brush to first of all blend the uneven skin tones and i further went ahead to use a lasso tool to fine-tune the image even more then uh right here i had to do some little bit of global dodging and burning and for global dodging and burning i used curves of course and i'm going to put the link right above here if i told you'd love to learn about global dodging and burning and you can see her arms i had to brighten this arm a little bit more and some part of uh the chest of the model so you can see that's the frequency pressure this is the global dodging and burning so after i created the stamp visible layer then i went to camera row and before i could i i could do that i first had to duplicate this then i first of all before hitting camera row i came to selective color and i had to enhance the darks or the blacks in this very image because i really like my images to st stand out and to bring out the darkness in the, those shadows and it really does the magic for me you can see the before and after because uh, the background would be some sort of distracting so what i did basically i came to the blacks channel and i had to play around with the black yeah the blacks in the black channel and enhance them to around three then i came to uh, the brightness and contrast and i used i used the legacy as you can see right here i make sure legacy is checked and uh, this also adds some sort of pop uh, to the skin tones of my images so i activated use the legacy and added the contrast of two then i created this stamp visible layer right above here then i came to camera filter and in camera filter what i basically did was 
uh, first of all removing uh, the reds because uh, my image had so much magenta in it so I had to uh, kind of mute the reds as you can see and the skin tones and I as well went ahead to do the eye and teeth whitening for our model you can see before and after so for the eye and teeth whitening the link is going to be right above here then after that I had to come back to selective color and under selective color I had to color grade my ducks uh, for this very image because I wanted to give this image uh, a sort of different kind of feel and what I did in order to get this kind of bluish tone in my blacks I had to come to the black channel right here and push my cyan to negative 2 then my yellows to negative 5 you can see if at all I put this at 0 you can see uh, it was sort of muted and then if I had to come and push it back to negative 5 you can see a difference so I think this added so much more beauty to this very image you can see the difference and to, it, it made it like have that pop kind of look and I had to create another stamp visible layer right here and I had to duplicate it as usual you can see before and after then I had to first of all kind of blend the face with the chest area and add that warm sort of feel to this chest area then I used selective color to sort of balance or to kind of balance the neck with the face of the model so this is the before after you can see I had to get rid, uh, rid of these magenta that were on the chest and the shoulders of our model so basically that is what I did for this very image so you can see uh, if I hold down the alternate button and I click on the background layer this eye icon so you can see the image before after before after before and after and now for this tutorial it is not about retouching it's about how you can save your images so they don't have that color shift or the color change when you post them on different websites or when you share them on different social media platforms so basically I would prefer to, first of all just come and to file and I come to save as like that but I thought uh, this doesn't uh, bring the results because uh, sometime back I used to do I used to use save as but uh, there's a time when I used to post my images and they, they could have a different color I could have different colors on uh, in my Photoshop and Whenever I posted my images on Instagram, I could see like the image that I looked different and the colors were not looking amazing at all. So I found out that when you export your images in a given format, I'm about to show you guys, uh, your images don't have that issue at all. So, um, so a given subscriber asked me to do this uh, video and I had to first of all come and do it because... I thought I had done so much of retouching videos and color grading and I was in showing you guys how I end up saving my images so that they have that sharpness and original color and and when you're posting on Instagram make sure you first of all crop your images in a ratio of 4, 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 ratio then come to file right here so this for this step is I'm going to show you guys the settings for saving or exporting your images so they don't have a change in color when you post them or share them anywhere so come to file and come to export and click export as so when you click on uh, export as it's going to bring uh it is going to take a few seconds and it's going to bring this little window right here as you can see and for the very first time in this very window you're going to have png as the default as you can see right here you'll have png so usually uh, i save my images as jpeg or JPEG, uh, jpg files so i'll come to format right here and i'm going to click this uh, drop down icon like this come and click jpeg 
So because obviously I want my quality to be at 100%, I wouldn't like to have a quality of less than that. So usually I leave uh, the image size in these very, very pixels because uh, they are the ones I crop my image into. So I, I wouldn't want to distort them. Then uh, this is the very, very important step for uh, not having those color shifts when you post or changing color when you post your images on websites or when you post your images on different social media platforms so you can see these two boxes initially they won't be checked or, or one of them may be checked so in order to uh, save both you can see when i unchecked this convert rsgb uh, the image totally changed you can see srgb uh, the colors are back so initially this is how i was looking at my image uh, in photoshop as i was doing my retouching and color grading so make sure this srgb is uh, checked because uh photoshop usually uh embeds colors according to uh, the red greens and blues so those are the colors uh, defaulted in the Photoshop software. So you have to make sure you embed these colors by checking this little box and click uh, and embed this color profile too. So you have these colors uh, put in your image and they'll be embedded into the image. So when you click export, yeah, or export all, you'll have to export all these settings. So you can as well add some co copyright and contact information in the metadata of this very image. So come and click export all. So when you click export all or when you tap or click it, it is going to bring for you a destination where you'd like to save uh, your image on your computer or on whatever device you're trying to do your retouching on. So it is going to bring this, as you can see. So you're going to look for a folder where you want to save your image and select it and click save. So I'm going to save mine on my desktop. So that is the information for the image. So click save. And after saving, it is automatically going to close this very window like that. So your image is going to be saved and you won't be having any issues with color change or a color shift in all your images you post or share on the website or different social media platforms like Instagram or Facebook. So if I told you love this tutorial and found it really helpful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My personal Instagram is atronics mutegeki r o w n i x then mutegeki or if at all that gives you a hard time, you can go to Ronix photography that is R O W N I X then photography on Instagram and you find a link to my other personal Instagram so where you can send your feedback and different queries I'll be able to answer whenever I can. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another retouching tutorial on this channel and remember to stay safe.